Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel. Now today's video is going to be all about the Hornby L and the RW on Hush Hush, which as you can see in front of you, this is the promotional version in the L and the R Apple Green livery, which this is the newest member to join the fleet. This was really one of those things where I walked into a model shop, didn't intend to spend any money, and I came out with this model. Because I didn't plan to buy another Hush Hush, because I already own the original version in grey and the rebuilt version in the garter blue. But then when I saw this was browsing in the shop, I basically just fell in love with it. You know, this kept popping out at me. I just couldn't resist it. I think it looks beautiful in this livery. And so, in the end, I had my own arm twisted and I bought it. And I am very happy with it. I have already done a video on this model. I didn't review it because I have already reviewed Hornby's Hush Hush before so I just did a running session instead with the teak couches. But this video is going to be about a modification to the model. So this modification concerns the rear pony truck wheels which is a standard feature from Hornby. The floating wheels are pre-fitted to the model. You do get flanged wheels, but they are not to be fitted if the model's going to run, only if the model's going to be for static display. And the reason Hornby have done this is because this model needs to be able to negotiate tight radius curves. Not every layout can have gentle curves. So, to accommodate that, that's why, as a standard feature, this model doesn't have flanged wheels on the pony truck. Now, they could have perhaps, you could argue, have articulated wheel sets in, under the pony wheels on the pony truck. However, that would probably increase the price if they did that. But, there is a way that you can actually modify the pony truck so that the pony wheels do touch the rails. Now at this point I would like to say that this idea came from an Instagram user called Southern Railway Modelling who has put up a post on how to modify the rear pony truck wheels on the W1 and this is a modification I've already done to my other two hush hushes but because I was asked by someone else if I could do a how to video on this I asked Southern Railway Modelling's permission if I could do this and he gave me the go ahead to do so. I will put a link to his Instagram page below in the description. So if you are on Instagram, do check him out. He's right now, to do this modification, it's really easy to do. So, first of all, we need to take the keeper plate off from under the rear pony truck. So, we'll just take the screws out and put those to one side. So now we can take off the keeper plate. Now at this point, what I will do, you don't have to do this, but this is something I find to be easier, is to mark up which way the keeper plate goes back on. So I'm just going to put on an arrow so that lets me know which way to put it back on when it comes to putting it back on. Right, so I've moved the camera over to this area on the layout. That way it's because there's very little sunlight over here, so I don't get any shadows in the way. So with the keeper plate, you can see there are four locating nubs, two on each end. And so what you need to do is you take a file, such as this one, and you basically file down the nubs. And so basically you can file them down to the depth that you want, like so. And with this you can always refit it and test it, and if it's not quite right then you can always just take it off and fold more down on it. 
so there you are so I'll do the other side off camera so that's basically all you need to do really right so with all four of the locating knobs foiled down what we now need to do is to refit it back onto the rear pony truck so I'll fit it back on the way how I've marked it up and then we'll put the screws back in and tighten them up and there we go that's it that's all you need to do and as you can now see the rear pony wheels are now touching the track so to make that modification that's all you need to do remove the keeper plate under the pony truck fold down those locating nubs and that's it so then you have the rear wheels touching the track so just to show you that this modification does indeed work, I'm going to do a quick run past. Now there is the odd uneven bit of track on my layout, so if you do notice that the pony wheels at one point do suddenly stop moving briefly, you know why. So here she comes, and as you can clearly see, those wheels are now rolling along. And that really is a big improvement, I think. It does improve the look as well. And this modification does work on tight radius curves, as you can clearly see here. I mean, you do have to accept the fact that the rear pony truck is still going to swing out when it goes around corners, but as soon as it goes back onto a piece of track, the wheels are touching the track again. I know some people might complain that they don't have the flanges on them, but you know, at the end of the day, you've still, when you do this modification, you've still got those rear pony wheels touching the track. And there won't be any derailments or issues going around corners, because the flanges on the wheels, they are wider, very considerably. So it is a modification worth doing, if you want to do this. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you wish to do this modification to your hush hushes, then both me and Southern Railway Modelling over on Instagram I've shown you how to do it. But at the end of the day, you don't have to do this modification if you don't want to. You either do it or you don't. But if you want to do this, then I hope you have found this video useful. And like I say, it's a simple modification to do, as I've shown you. So to end this video, I'm going to get the hush hush hauling my rake of Pullman coach, I think, just to end the video. So thank you very much for watching. It has been something a little bit different. Hope you've enjoyed it, and if you like what you see, then do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, and while you're at it, please do check out all my other videos that I have on the channel, if you wish. But until then, take care. Goodbye.